Yo yo, Pudis here, another Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile, and I'm gonna show you Machina Gadgets. Now, Machina Gadgets is, you know, just Machina monsters with gadgets like, you know, gold, silver, and all them. And you wanna try to special summon as much as you can, rank 4 spam into XYZs, and just attack all out. And this deck's super basic, mid-tier I consider it, and great for, like, beginner players to play too, because all you do is just add, special summon a bunch, attack all out, and see what happens. And this deck's super cool too because machines are very versatile, a lot of support. You can play them ham, or you can play them safe with like spells and traps that destroy a lot of stuff. So let's get started. We play three, Machina Fortress. He's like, you know, the big boy of the deck. You can discard himself and another machine from your hand to special summon him. Or you can discard two machines from your hand and special summon them from the graveyard. And if he's destroyed by battle, destroy one card your opponent controls. And if he's targeted by a monster effect, then you discard one card from your opponent's hand. So, and then we play three Cyber Dragons, standard, easy monster, um, bust them out for free, machine, and you can contact fusion with your opponent's monsters for Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon. And then we play two Machina Gearframe. Um, you, you normal summon him, and you have to add Machina Fortress, and then um, he's also a union monster you can equip to another machine to help protect them, but you mostly want to use him to get Machina Fortress. We play three gold gadgets and three silver gadgets, standard. Um, Whenever they're summoned in any way, normal or special, you can special summon a level 4 lower machine from your hand. So you can go gold gadget, his effect, special summon silver gadget, his effect, and then get like another gadget or whatever. And you can only use your effect once per turn, but even if they're destroyed by a card effect sent to the graveyard, they get their effect too. But you only use one once per turn. We play two green gadget, two red gadget, and two yellow gadget. Their effects are normal or special in any way. You get to add one of that color that they say. And we play two Summoner Monk. Summoner Monk's awesome too because he busts out silver gold gadget from the deck. So if you have Summoner Monk, you can discard a spell like Upstar Goblin, get gold gadget. His effect gets silver, silver gadget's effect, get like um, green or something. And that's four level four monsters on the field. And you can make a lot of overlay plays for days for that, so. And we play one Maxi. Maxi's awesome, you know, draw power. Your opponent special summons a bunch, you can draw a lot of cards. Regeki, you just don't give a fuck, slap it down, just nuke the field, your opponent has all his monsters. We play three double summons, you get one additional summon that turn, and you can't, if you play multiple, you can't um, get extra normal summons, you only, get, you only get one additional normal summon. And it's really great because, you know, you normal summon, get ease effects, play double summon, get another surge, all that, you get more materials. And we play reasoning because we have multiple levels in here, you got like you know, three, four, five, and like eight. So even if they call it right with four, it's okay because you can use Iron Call to get a monster from the graveyard. If you control a machine, you get a machine from the graveyard, special summon it to the field. So if you have a yellow on the field, you can use Iron Call to get green gadget, uh, red gadget on the field. And their effects are negated, but it doesn't really matter. You just want to use Iron Call to get another XYZ play. We play Upstart Goblin, draw power. Limit to removal is super awesome because if you have a bunch of machines on the field, it doubles all their attack and you can attack all out. And Let's say your opponent doesn't die that turn, you can overlay main phase 2 and you know make a super boss monster and that monster won't die. We play two twin twisters, super good card, destroy a bunch of back row so you can attack all out. And it's okay that you discard a card because you can use, you can discard like I don't know, silver gadget or like green gadget and call the haunt of that monster next turn or that turn to make an another overlay play. So discarding, you can use it to your advantage if you want. Um, we play three Solomon Strike because Solomon Strike is super broken. Negate a monster's effects, you know, if your opponent has Crystal Wing, you gotta get rid of that. And we play one Solemn Warning. And Warning's broken, it stops normal summons, so it's at one for a reason. Now time for the Escher deck. We play Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon because you have Cyber Dragon. And if your opponent has Machines, you can use Cyber Dragon to contact Fusion with your opponent's monsters. Special, special summon him. We play Divine Dragon Knight Belgran, just in case you have two Machina Fortresses on field. He's super awesome to protect himself and negate a monster effect or anybody. Um, Utopia the Lightning, because we have the Utopia Barrage, and the Lightning just wins games, gets over everything. Constellar Pallades, board control, super powerful, bounces monsters. You know, Prime is for the Lightning, more more material for him. Play St uh, Stellar Knight Delteros, because you can go Summoner Monk, get you know Silver Gadget, Gold, Red, Green, and get multiple uh, monsters in the field. So if you have three level 4 monsters, you get him out and he's the boss. Um, we play two Gear Gigan X, because we have a lot of machines obviously. And if you have two machines, you're going to want to detach one and add like Machina Fortress or gold or silver and set up a play for next turn. 
We, have, we play 101 to get rid of problematic cards. Two Castells for problematic floodgates. Gaga Samurai for two attacks, and he can protect the monster too, but mostly for OTK. If you're going first, you can also make Giant Hand. He negates the monster effect, so he helps more, more control of the board. And Dweller, you st can stop monster effects in Graveyard from your, for your opponent, and more board control. And now let's talk about Honorable Mentions. Now these are just cards that if you don't like the deck how it is, you can use these cards and switch it around. And um, that's what's so good about this deck is that you can change cards around and deck can still be good. We play Gamma Seal, you know, everybody loves Gamma Seal. Drop a Kaiju and tribute one of your opponent's monsters. Ten Goldfish is really good too, he's a machine. If he's normal summon, you can special summon one level 4 lower monster from your hand. So you can go Ten Goldfish, get Summoner Monk, Summoner Monk's effect, discard a spell. Get Gold Gadget, Gold Gadget's effect, get, you know, play Silver Gadget from hand. His effect, you can get green. So that's already a lot of monsters on the field with just, you know, one one play. Jinzo super good too, because you can, he's a machine, you can use it with limit removal. And if you, uh, he negates all traps on the field. And he just wrecks people who play a lot of trap cards. We play Pop Desires if you want um, to get more draw power and consistency, more resources. Dark Hole if you want to destroy my cards on the field. Malevolent Catastrophe, um, if your opponent attacks one of your monsters, you can destroy all spell and trap cards on the field. Uh, Mirror Force to protect monsters. Phoenix Wing Wing Blast, discard a card and put any card your opponent controls back on top of the deck. So this is really good too because most of the time um, all your gadgets add another gadget from your deck to your hand and that's just a card in your hand and you can discard it to bounce one your card your opponent controls onto their top of their deck and it tempos them so they have to draw it next turn and then if you have a monster discarded to the graveyard you can use Call the Haunted to bring it back. So it's basically a two for one. Dimensional Barrier is also very broken too because it stops XYZ, Synchros, Fusions and all that stuff in case they're effects. And last is Book of Moon. And Book of Moon is good too because it's a spell, you can use it for of Summoner Monk. And if your opponent has two monsters, they're going to try to go for like an XYZ play or a Synchro play. And you could just Book of Moon one and put it face down so they can't XYZ or Synchro. So yeah, that's the deck everybody. Let me know how you like it. This is Pudis signing out.